welcome at cloudbackupping.com. My name is Mauricio and in this video we're going to have a look at how to back up your data with LiveDrive. And we're not only going to see that, we're also going to have a look at how fast the backup process with LiveDrive actually works and how fast you can um, back up your data to their servers. So after you have downloaded the software after signing up, we're just going to initiate quickly the installation wizard and um, this is quite easy. It takes you step by step through the installation process. You only have to click on continue. It is important though that you install the software as an admin because LiveDrive needs admin rights to um, install itself correctly and we're just going to fast forward the video here a little bit that you're not going to get bored with the installation process. And in the last step, LiveDrive asks you to restart your PC and I highly recommend doing that because if not, there's going to be, there could, it could be that you're going to run into problems here. I personally didn't do that because I want to do like quickly um, install the software and test the backup, but you should really restart your PC after having installed LiveDrive. So let's have a look at the client at LiveDrive, the LiveDrive client here and see how everything uh, works and how we can back up our data. So when you first start LiveDrive, um, as most of the backup software and backup providers uh, do, you're going to uh, be fast forwarded to the uh, wizard. And this wizard most commonly starts with entering your email address and your password to access your account, uh, where LiveDrive can now verify that you have actually, that you're a legitimate customer and that you have enough space to back up your data. I think this is a very neat function here to uh, be able to set up a proxy. So if you're a nerd like me, you're certainly gonna like that feature because it gives you extra security and, and extra anonymity. And then we're gonna confirm everything with a click on sign in and we are in basically. Now we can give our computer a name to uh, identify it more easily in the network and in the live drive client. Um, and for the sake of this video, I'm just going to name it Mauricio uh, VM because I'm on the virtual machine here in my virtual windows. And now we can choose a folder um, to back up. Uh, LiveDrive doesn't suggest uh, to back up folders automatically. It just goes directly into um, the manual selection. And well, for advanced users or users who actually know what they want to back up, this is, um, this is a nice feature. You have some preset folders there that you can select directly, but we want to dig deeper into the file system because we have prepared a test folder with one gigabyte in files um, to back up and to test the speed and to compare the speed among all other backup providers we tested here on cloudbackupping.com. So let's just go deep into the file system and see where our test folder is. It's on desktop cloud backupping test files and it's roughly one gigabyte in size. And then we have uh, successfully added the folder to the backup list or uh, which is a nice feature as well. Um, we can just right click on the folder and select live drive and back up with live drive and, and everything should be backed up automatically. So when you're working on a file and click on the, and make a right click and say back up with live drive, you can back up it instantly without uh, being afraid of losing your data. So the wizard is pretty straightforward and here we can actually activate our briefcase. The briefcase is um, the syncing functionality that comes with LiveDrive if you chose the pro suite or if you chose the briefcase alone. And uh, yes, we obviously want to activate it to test also our five terabyte uh, syncing suite. And the next step, we can actually choose whether we want to have those briefcase files also locally on our PC to store them uh, to access them more quickly than uh, as if they just were online. So here we have the option to set up this as well. And then it's uh, pre-synchronizing our data. This can take a while depending on your connection speed and on your data you want to back up. So uh, we're just going to fast forward this process a little bit that you don't have to wait here with me. Okay, now everything is pre-synchronized and technically our data should be now um, in the backup mode. So uh, we can basically just lean back and enjoy our secure data. However, um, I always want to monitor um, my data and what kind of files are to be backed up and how fast they're backed up and whether I can change probably the order in which the files are backed up. So I have more important data that I want to choose that I want to give priority to other files. And I think, honestly, 
the live drive interface is actually quite uh, difficult to understand because I don't know uh, which um, part of the program I got to start to either initiate my backup or monitor my backup. So I think the learning curve uh, you got you to gotta go through live drive is quite steep um, because it's not that intuitive as, for example, Mosey or um, SugarSync. So first of all, I want to know whether my backups are started correctly and where do I monitor my backups? And um, I want to have everything clearly organized in one piece of software. And this is like uh, broken up in different parts, which is actually not necessary, I think. If you, for example, compare it with SOS Online Backup, it's much better organized because everything is in one tab in one window and I can access I can access everything from the client and here I have to click uh, through menus um, to understand everything so and I don't even see a uh, restore button yet and we're gonna cover that in the next video okay so for the purposes of this video I really want to monitor the backup process and it really took a while I fast forwarded the video again it took about 10 minutes until I actually saw um, the status bar to be updated with uh, my files that I can actually see what is what is currently here happening in the software and if my files are actually going to be backed up correctly and now after a couple of minutes I actually see what is happening and and um, what kind of files are backed up but I cannot change the order of the files to be backed up. I have a nice overview. I see at what speed the files are backed up at around uh, 85 kilobyte per second, which is all right uh, when you consider my um, measly upload speed of one megabit. So um, this is actually quite nice. However, in other um, online backup clients, you can prioritize the files better. You can change the order at which you want to back up. I think, if I remember well, uh, Backblaze offers this functionality where it can specify the priority. You can, however, specify Live Drive's file priority by file type. So you can select in the preferences whether you want to uh, back up first the audio, the audio files, or the photos, or whatever. So um, this is what 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 the what the client allows you to do. However, in the last part of the video, we're just going to pause it and see how long it actually takes to back up one gigabyte of files that you more or less know how long it would take you um, to back up your files so that you can like calculate the speed and calculate the time and know what you're going to be expecting when you sign up with LiveDrive and backing up 20, 40, 50, 100 gigabytes of data. So we're going to pause the video quickly and see how long it's going to take. Okay, so here we are back and everything is uploaded completely and it took four hours and 21 minutes. And well, this is all right. Um, I mean, there were some backup providers such as SugarSync that were a lot faster. They only took two hours to back up all my data. But what's even more important is that you can recover your data at the time you're, you actually need it. And this is what we're going to test in the next video. So I hope you stay tuned. And obviously, I hope that you like this video. And if you liked it, please leave a comment on YouTube. Or if you have a question, I'll be more than glad to help you out. So see you next time. Bye bye.